Welcome to the pastor's home. I'm going to share with you a story today. And if you've liked other Bible stories, you're going to love this one. This is from the book of Luke, and it continues the story on the day of Jesus' resurrection, where the women had gone to the tomb and found it empty, and encountered two people, perhaps angels, who wondered why they came looking for the living among the dead. They went and told the disciples, and several of them uh, did not believe. So we join the story at that point. That very day, two of them were going to a village named Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem, talking with each other about all these things that had happened. While they were talking and discussing together, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. But their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What is this conversation which you are holding with each other as you walk? And they stood still, looking sad. Then one of them, named Cleopas, answered him, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? And he said to them, What things? And they said to him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, who was a prophet mighty in deed and in word before God and all the people, and how our chief priests and rulers delivered him up to be condemned to death and crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one to redeem Israel. Yes, and besides all this, it is now the third day since this has happened. Moreover, some women of our company amazed us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. And they came back saying that they had even seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said. But him they did not see. And he said to them, O oh, foolish men and slow of heart to believe all the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So they drew near the village to which they were going. He appeared to be going further, but they constrained him, saying, Stay with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is now far spent. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took the bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to them. And their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished out of their sight. They said to each other, did not our hearts burn within us while he talked to us on the road, while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose that same hour and returned to Jerusalem. They found the eleven gathered together and those who were with them, who said, The Lord has risen indeed and has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road and how he was known to them in the breaking of the bread. Isn't it interesting how they didn't know him when he was speaking with them, when he was walking with them, but when they invited him into their own home and shared with them the meal that they had, it was in the breaking of the bread that they recognized that God was with them, that this is the one they'd been mourning, and yet here he is alive with them. And so it is in the breaking of bread that we find the Christ among us. That's the end of our story for this week. I'm glad you came. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.